In this video, we're going to dive into an exciting project, building an AI assistant options analysis tool called Smart Premium AI. This tool helps a stock investor analyze options data and develop income strategies for stocks you're already familiar with. The goal is simple. Use the power of AI to create a practical tool that combines options data analysis with risk management to help identify income opportunities in the stock market. Let's do a demo first. We're going to ask our AI tool to analyze the options for Microsoft. The supervisor agent starts the planning process and first communicates to the options data analyst. The options data analyst will use a tool that we've created from an options chain information from Yahoo Finance and then do the analysis. We'll talk a little bit more about how we create this tool later using a new service called Ripplet Agent. It's really cool. Next, the supervisor will dispatch to the next agent, the risk strategy developer, who will look at the risk side of the income opportunity, do the analysis, and combine the options data analysis report with their own to come up with the final report. Before we dive into building our tool, let me explain options in the simplest way possible. Let's say you own 100 shares of a stable company like Microsoft. You can make extra money from these shares, kind of like renting your house while you own it. For example, you can sell something called a covered called option. This means someone pays you money now, called a premium, for the right to buy your shares at a higher price later. If the stock doesn't reach that higher price, you keep both your shares and the money they pay to you. If it does go higher, you still make a profit, but your upside is bounded by the price you agreed to sell. Let's take a look at the tech stack and architectural diagram that we'll be using for this project. We'll be using two main tools, Ripplet Agent and Flowwise. Ripplet Agent is a new tool uh, that is super cool that we'll be using to generate the backend code with the REST API. So we'll be using it to convert this Python uh, Y Finance library, the Yahoo information, to a REST API that, they, that then can be consumed by a custom tool within Flowwise. And this, of course, will provide the real-time options data that we need for this analysis. Flowwise is the uh, low-code, no-code tool that allows us to visually put our agents together and working to generate this analysis. And in addition to that, I'll show you how we can also use a agent approach to actually uh, generate and uh, create the optimized prompts to create the agent team in the first place. All right, so let's start uh, building the, uh, the backend part of the application. I'm using this uh, really cool service called Ripplet Agent on ripplet.com. It's uh, really cool what it can do. So you can just describe what you want to make in natural language. So I'm going to say, I want to create a REST API that uses the Y Finance or the Yahoo Finance uh, Python library to get uh, real-time uh, stock options chain data. So I'll use that and improve my prompt, right? So this helps a little bit to give more clarity. So it says, uh, yes, a web-based, yes, I want a web-based REST API that fetches and serves this stock information, all right? And I, I'll just keep it simple. I don't even need rate limiting. Uh, endpoints for this is fine clean API documentation, and that's fine if it wants to create some more styling. So let's just go ahead and start building. So with that specification, it's going to go ahead and uh, think about how to build this application that I want. So it's going to review the instructions, and then it's going to come up with uh, a plan on um, on building the initial prototype with options here. So it says, I'll help you create a REST API service. And it's decided that it needs Flask, which is cool. And we're going to build uh, uh, some clean endpoints with documentation as well. Uh, so, so that's great. And then it's asking me if I want to proceed with implementation. So yes, build the initial prototype. But I can also here uh, ask it to add an, uh, more things in the prototype. But let's just go ahead and approve the plan and start. All right, so it's going to go and start thinking about how to build initial prototype. It's already generated now the first uh, Python uh, files, app.py and, uh, and, and main.py, and it generated a, a icon for me already. All right, and then a, another Python uh, file called api.python, which will serve up my API, I'm, I'm assuming. And then it's generating the documentation so which HTML form and the styling for that page. And then it's generating um, more uh, code for the documentation page. And then it's installing all the Python dependencies, which is pretty cool. 
So it's uh, got all these things that it's uh, installing and then installing the packages. Great, so let's go ahead and do that. You can see here, it's got the Y finance. And then it is trying to now invoke the server. All right, so now it's loading this up and it's asking me if uh, I can see it. So let me just open a new tab here. All right, so it's generated something and it's uh, given me a server. So that that's cool. So I'll, I'll go back and say yes. All right, so now it's, uh, let me just uh, try it now. So slash uh, API options, and then let's, all right, so you can say, oh, I see an error. So you go in here and iterate through it. I see an error. All right. So it will uh, go and think through what the error is, and then it will go and fix it. So I'll iterate through this uh, a couple of times and show you the final result. All right, so after another iteration, I was able to bring up the server, the backend server, and let's go ahead and test it out. So API, options, Microsoft. So let's go ahead and do that. So it's been able to then get that information. So pretty cool. All right, so now I've been able to prototype that, and now it's complete. So now I'm going to just deploy it. Auto scale, I'll just set up my deployment, and then I will approve and get going. All right, it's uh, deploying, so building what uh, the application here, bundling it, and then it's going to promote and then make that available uh, externally. So let's wait a few minutes and uh, that complete. All right, it's now running and ready to use. So if I go here and I go slash docs, all right, I'll go to the docs, insert the docs, and then I'm able to now test the API slash options Microsoft. There you go. So now we have our backend running, and this whole process uh, from uh, beginning prompt to the end took about 10 minutes. So very, very, very cool. Now we're going to use this. API in our FlowWise Flow Next as a custom tool. So let's build that next. So we're now we're in the FlowWise tool, and what we're going to build is this uh, team of agents, a supervisor, followed by a couple of uh, agents, uh, one for the option data analysis or analyst, and the other one for the risk strategy developer. Now, um, how do I figure out uh, how to build these agents and, and what prompts to use? So I'm going to uh, show you uh, a prompt engineering team flow. So this flow here will allow me to uh, actually create the necessary agent. So before I do that, I'll, I'll show you where some of these templates uh, reside. So if you go to the homepage of FlowWise, there's marketplaces, and you can specify agent flow. So this is all the uh, flows that are coming out of the box from this. So there's actually a, um, a, a flow in here uh, for the prompt engineering team. So just go ahead and uh, select this and then use the template. So I, I've already done that here. And now I have this prompt engineering team. So I'll put in prompt here, uh, create a AI agent team to analyze stock option data. The goal is to gain insight into what the option chains so that you can craft a good strategy that helps with risk management. So I'll go ahead and hit this. So what it's going to do is actually it's going to use this team of agents that are good at prompt engineering. And you can see the supervisor going and talking to the uh, prompt creator and then prompt reviewer, and then it'll iterate through, and then uh, it'll give me a set of prompts that I can use for uh, both agents, right? So it's going to go through here. You see here an option data analyst, and then also then a uh, 
a strategy, a risk strategy developer. So I can just use this prompt, put it in the uh, other workflow. So in a similar manner, I've created, I started with this template uh, from uh, the home page, and I've just uh, taken the prompt. So I've taken uh, a template and changed the worker name to option data analyst. And then I've put into here the prompt that I got from the prompt engineering team. And then I've added the stock to analyze is stock. And then this stock is a variable that then I go into here to populate with what's in the uh, what, what's in the um, uh, chat box here called question. And then uh, similarly for the risk strategy developer, I do the same thing. I just copy the prompt there and then tell it what stock to analyze. And then that's it. I have this flow. Um, the other thing that is super important is uh, I created a custom tool. So this custom tool is what bridges the information that I created with my uh, Riplet agent. So I've named it options data. So you can take a look at that. So this options data, uh, I've said that the tool name is options data and to use this tool to get information uh, for a given stock, I've given it a ticker symbol. And then I've used basically the example here and I filled in uh, information. So uh, I've used my own URL, but what you can do here is uh, take the URL from your deployment here. So in this case, this is the URL. So I would plug that in. So I would plug that into my tool here. So this would be the URL. Right. And then you would uh, then, then use uh, this URL to populate this code here. And then uh, as part of uh, calling it, you would pass in the property. So that's how then you hook up the, the tool. And what happens then is that when the options data analyst or the risk strategy developer needs to access this data, it will go ahead and do that. So once it has all this information, then you can execute it like this. I'll show you execution already. So please analyze uh, options from Microsoft and then they'll go through as what we saw in the demo, uh, options uh, data analysts using this tool. So you see here, it's called the tool that I built through the Ripple agent, got that information back and used it for the analysis. And then the risk strategy developer uh, then gets this information and then uh, goes ahead and uh, produces a report, and you can have some uh, actionable strategies uh, for uh, income generation as well as risk management. So uh, that's that's pretty cool. So both tools allow you to just create this super useful application that uh, can help uh, generate uh, uh, additional income using this option strategy.